Hi and welcome. In this video I'll show you how to set up Remote Play so you can play your PS5 games on an iPad. This is perfect if someone is hogging the main TV and you still want to play or perhaps you're travelling and still want to game. Whatever your reason, here's how to do it. We'll start with the PS5. It needs to be connected to the internet with Wi-Fi and signed in with your PlayStation ID. I'll assume you've done that bit. If you need a hand with either of these, check out the links in the description to videos that can help. Once that's done, let's enable Remote Play. So what we do is go to Settings, then down to System, and down to Remote Play. Click here, then click on Enable Remote Play. If you're only playing at home, that's the only setting you need to change before we go to Link Device and reveal the code. However, if you're planning to play away from home on your PlayStation 5, there are a couple more settings we'll need to change, and these are in rest mode. And rest mode puts the PS5 into a low power state, and there are some options there which will allow you to remote start the PlayStation 5 so you can play games. So, to get to those, just press the back button, then go to power saving. Next, go across and down to features available in rest mode. Go down the list and go to stay connected to the internet. Click here, then go down one and go to enable turning on PS5 from network. And it says here, while in rest mode, you can turn on your PS5 remotely using PlayStation app or remote play. So let's toggle that on and then we'll go back and across and up into remote play again. So. The last thing we need to do on the PlayStation side is to go down to Link Device, click here, and we have some numbers which appear on screen, and we will be entering these into the iPad shortly. To set up the iPad for Remote Play, let's first make sure it's connected to the internet and that Bluetooth is enabled. So we'll go to Settings, and just make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth is turned on. We'll now close this window and we'll go to the App Store and do a search for PS Remote Play. So open your App Store and type in PS Remote Play. When you find the app, click on Install and open it. It will ask you to locate your device, so press PS5. Then gives details on how to set up your PlayStation 5 for Remote Play, which we've done. At this point, it should ask you for your code number. I get this error because I've already connected, so I'm going to click OK here. And here's my PlayStation ready to connect. Now I'm going to go back to the home screen on the PlayStation. It connects better from there. I'll press my PlayStation here. I'm now connected. When the remote play connection is made, it automatically turns off the controller. If you tap the screen, the iPad screen, you do get some basic controls which replicate the controller and these can be used to handily get you around screens. However, you'll want to play with the proper controller. To do this, we'll need to connect via Bluetooth to the iPad. So we'll close this window just for a moment, go to settings, and let's just toggle Bluetooth off and on for a moment. Now on the controller, press and hold the create button and PS button at the same time and keep them pressed down for a couple of seconds. You'll see a light flashing on the controller and on the iPad, it discovers the DualSense wireless controller. Press that and you can see it's now connected. So we'll close this settings window and go to remote play again. Initiate the connection. Now we can use the controller on the iPad. Great. So now we can play, have fun, and at some point we're going to want to end this. So to end it, we go to settings just in the bottom left corner we have disconnect. 
This remote play session will be disconnected. Put the connected console into rest mode. You can tick that if you so wish. And you can click OK. Next, we'll want to disconnect the PlayStation controller from the iPad. So swipe up, go to settings, press the I next to DualSense wireless controller and forget this device. To reconnect your controller to your PlayStation, simply press the PS button. If that doesn't work, grab the charging cable, plug that into the back of your PlayStation controller and press the PS button. So that's how you set up remote play on your PlayStation with an iPad. I hope you found the video useful and if you have, tickle that like button. If you listen closely, you'll hear it laugh. Thank you very much for choosing my video and I wish you a great day ahead.